Okay, the mayor has definitely forgot the past. He can barely recognize me. Right, so that much is done. In any case, you shouldn't have to come back here. As for Dave's attack, well, it's not really an attack. It's more of a protection, a force generator to be precise. Like just about all your weapons, this one can be used in two ways. For example, let's imagine you're stuck by a lake of lava, or acid, or some other deadly zone. Well, if you use Dave's ammunition to shoot at this zone, it creates a platform. You can thus cross the zone without too much difficulty. But be careful, the platforms are temporary. So when you use this weapon, don't hang around admiring the scenery, okay? Okay. Right. Now, imagine you enter a room full of enemies, or with a protection system that will disintegrate you as soon as you set foot in the room. Here again, you can use Dave's attack. But this time, instead of making a platform, it makes a ball wherever you shoot. The idea is to jump into the ball for protection. Here again, the balls are temporary. And besides, they're not mobile. This means that when you're inside a ball, you can do nothing else except wait for the danger to pass, or move far enough away for you to come out. Got it? I think so, yeah. Good. So, initially, you should just test the first use of your weapon, uh, in other words, the platforms. After that, you can test the second use. As for me, I'll see you further on. Good luck.
Bitter the knowledge we glean from travel, thus spoke the poet. I don't think I need to introduce myself, young Cyprian. Here we are, face to face, divided by hatred. Two beings alone looking at each other for the first time. And yet, they have the strange sensation that their whole life was nothing but a long road leading to this moment, this place. They have traveled without seeing each other, but when they see each other, when the time has come, they have nothing to say to each other. Words are obsolete, language unnecessary. It could be love, but in fact, it is war that speaks through their eyes. War and fear also, the fear of dying, no doubt. But most of all, the fear of knowing that at the end of the combat, they will both be dead. One of them because he no longer lives, and the other because he no longer wants to live. So take me out, young Cyprian. That's what you came for. Take me out and discover through blood who you really are.
the hero. The despair of his friend. Poor child who thought himself so strong, able to face up to the world. But he still hasn't understood that it is not the world he faces today. You're not going to bore me for long with your idiotic monologue. And what are you planning to do, hmm? And the show goes on.